Alrighty then, so we got the top here. Actually, my Pokeballs used to be <coughs> right there before I put them over there. But, uh, like I said, there's rent. There, I don't have uh, a good light source within my room. Uh, everything would look a lot better if this one actually worked, but it doesn't because it doesn't have a bulb and it busted on me. <sighs> but this this is a Jurassic Park toy for when Jurassic Park 1 came out, I think. I got it when I was younger. I kind of broke it. Uh, let's see, there's a latch right here and stuff like that, and you open it, and there's a dinosaur inside. I don't know... I don't know why it's not focusing right, but there's a dinosaur inside, and he actually squirt, squirts water at you. I still have the controller, so it's it still works, but it, the dinosaur just stays o uh, up the whole time. And uh, it's actually pretty cool. It's something I kept because, I don't know, it's something re weird. I'm not, I'm not really into uh, cars or RC cars or anything like that, but this, I don't know, I wanted to keep and show off. It's pretty cool. As you can tell how dusty it is and stuff like that. I really, I really don't clean stuff like that, but... I'll clean it uh, every once in a while. And underneath it, I put my Pokemon games. I have Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon Pearl, I got Pokemon Soul Silver. I don't know where Heart Gold, uh, Black and White, I don't know where Heart Gold and Black and White went. As you can tell, I have the boxes for Heart Gold and Soul Silver right here. Uh, with Complete with the Pokewalkers inside, which I'm not going to get out. Because if, if anyone who knows. Getting that shit out of this is hard. I don't know why. It is hard. Well, I'm stepping on my futon. I don't want to die. Alrighty then. So we got this. You're like, Luna, what is this? Well, it's part of a Razor phone. You remember Razors? How fucking awesome they were? They're like, everyone treated them like the fucking best thing since sliced bread. Well, I had a Razor. And, um, it was a piece of shit. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure people are going to think things are a piece of shit, too, as soon as it goes on. Like, uh, all these iPhones and the uh, knockoff of iPhones, which are inspired by iPhone, which is pretty much an iPhone, but under a different brand name. I'm pretty sure people are going to see see how they were shit back when, too. So, There's a little Pokemon figurines you got from McDonald's. No, my, my, li my, my little brother actually had them. He likes Pokemon. Uh... I asked him, I said, why do, I, I remember, you know how people are, like, they're, like, new gen, new gen people who don't, who don't like, uh, new gen haters, who don't like the new generation of Pokemon because it's changed and it's convoluted and everything looks like an inanimate object. I talked to my brother, he's little, right, obviously he doesn't have, like, a great opinion or understanding of why people hate specific things. Um... <clears throat> I talked to him about this, and I was like, buddy, what do you think of the old Pokemon? He looked at the old Pokemon, and he was like, they're really cool, I like them. I was like, okay, what do you think about the second generation? I was like, wow, they look even cooler now. Third generation, he was like, wow, they look they look, they look, look cool, but there's a couple weird ones, which is, he didn't like the, I don't know, the Shroomish, and I don't like the Shroomish either, so... <laughs> And then I showed him Gen 4, he's like, wow, Gen 4 is awesome, I really like Gen 4 and stuff like that. And uh, he didn't have any problems, he liked the starters, he was awesome. Now Gen 5, now Gen 5 is what my brother's gotten into. And Pokemon is pretty much made for people to get into, like, people like us who got into the first generation when we were younger. It, it's made, it's kind of made with that. To get new Pokemon lovers in, obviously, so they get become a bigger cash cow than what they already are. Because they already have the market from the first gen people stacked on with all the generations. Is Pokemon is ridiculously uh, popular. And they most likely will never stop making Pokemon games the same way they do for Final Fantasy games. But, um, I don't know. It's just Pokemon, guys. I don't know why people fight over it. It's, it's good. It's fun. It's an RPG. It's just, it's just, it's a time waster. It's not nothing to like base your life around. Of. And this is a Left 4 Dead Burn DVD disc. And you're like, what, Luna? You have pirated games? Yeah, I do. I only have one. I've only got one to work. Uh, huh, this is my, oh my goodness, my uh, my my game uh, my GameCube. 
I got Mario Kart. I got Mario Party. Mortal Kombat Deception. Metroid, which was hard. Metroid actually scared me when I first got... Fucking Focus. I don't know what's wrong with the Focus. Metroid. Uh, Shark Tale, which is stupid. Don't get it. Dragon Ball Z Budokai. I have all the Budokais. Uh, Sonic Adventures 2 was actually pretty fun. Um, Mario, The Hobbit, The Hobbit, oh my goodness, The Hobbit is so good. The Hobbit was hard as shit when I was younger, but it was good. I remember getting it on Christmas and understand, not figuring out why the fuck did you guys get this to me. But I didn't know it was like a, the beginning of, I guess, the Lord of the Rings, the prequel, or something like that. The story beforehand. Uh, I'm not really, like... I don't really know the information within that. But here is a measuring tape. You're like, well, why do you got some measure tape? Well, the thing is, guys, I sew. I could fix, like, I could stem, I could hem and make seams and make buttons and all that shit. I know how to sew because I'm self-efficient. You're like, Luna, sewing's gay. I'm like, okay, then. It's like, when your favorite pants fucking rips, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to fix them. He's like, oh, see? The ripped pants make them look better. Okay. Now this is, uh, as it says, this is Luna, and underneath it is Momo. We actually made this for a birthday video for someone uh, on my other channel, Toxic Scream. It got pretty decent views, like like a couple, couple hundred. But uh, it was, I, I liked it. It was pretty fun. Um, oh, this right here. This actually has a story. Uh, I I took shop a lot, and this is basically our car overweight. <laughs> This is when I stopped caring about shop, and the group I was in, they were like, fuck it, let's just cut a piece of wood. So we found a wood wood that was already smoothed out like this, and we just cut chunks of it and add wheels onto it. And it's so fucking bootleg. Like, every time we kept turning it in, he was like, um, guys, this is overweight. Why do you guys keep giving me overweight things? I'm like, uh, we don't know. He was like, make it smoother and smaller. So we smoothed the top a little bit more, and then we cut fucking jagged pieces out. <laughs> He's like, all right, you guys just made weight. I'm like, all right, good, thanks. We lost. We lost. No, whatever. Uh, that is something I actually made in uh, seventh grade. It was a rocket. It was awesome. As you can tell, there's like the fire symbol and water symbol on there. Because I'm Naruto! I fucking love Naruto when I was a little kid! Now, I actually have art of this. This is actually art thing I showed off in my Photoshop works. Um, as you see, it says Toxic Scream. That's from my other channel. We liked it. It was pretty awesome. I actually have little figurines. Well, not figurines. Little, little drawn stuff. Like, uh, this that my best friend made. This is his art now. It's actually a lot better than it used to be. And when he actually does art, like, paintings like that, it's fucking awesome. I wish I could show you, but they're all at his house hanging the walls. But, uh, those are pretty good. And, uh, this is my stereo. Nothing really to it. I got it for my birthday, and it's okay. I listen to music while we play video games with my friend, and that's it. So I'm gonna stop this video. Actually, what's this? What's this? Alex Luna. What is it? So this is Luna Alex. It's obviously my name, but it says Luna Alex testing September November. November 5th, no, November, hold on, I'm trying to get this right, I think this is my ACT test, practice test tours, fucking stop, hold on, fucking stupid, stay on, why is it bent like that, you guys get to see my ACT score, or practice ACT scores, <sighs> okay, Luna Alex. It's test is time for English class 16, writing 3, writing 13, math 15, reading. Uh, uh, composite score 17. Now, the scores you see right here, they're all shit compared to what I did. You know what they said? They're like, this is the practice ACT score. Just do, do what you can, and just pretty much you guys don't have to try so hard. So I didn't try so hard. Um, and then... <laughs> Uh, when the real ACT came around, I failed it, like, really bad. I got a 19 on the ACT. I already took it. I got, like, a 29 or a 27 a composite score on it, I guess. I was like, oh, cool. That's awesome. I don't care. I got, like, 
at like I was one like the schools were like oh here let's give you something nice for getting a score above what we wanted you to get I'm like nah whatever give it to someone else I don't know I don't like getting awards for doing something that is easy but yeah you know, I got my my actual score was like 29 27 between there I know it wasn't like 25 26 but I remember getting higher than that but I don't know I didn't really care I really don't understand what the hell ACT score is. They didn't explain it to me. <sighs> but, uh, whatever. Alright, so we're going to get on to my games, which I'll actually... Might actually be shorter than what you might think. And then maybe after that, we'll be done. And I might do the little wrap-up video from here on. 